Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about a much more serious topic than I would like to, but, um, you know, I wanted to comment on this situation because it is a, um, series I've been very, pretty involved in. This video is going to be a lot more serious, so it's going to be a lot more informative, a less, uh, a lot less opinionated, except for at the end I'm going to have a little time to roast the bad guy in this situation, but it's just going to be more informative, it's, I'm going to make a lot less jokes, but, but the situation in question, the Iskal 85 situation. If you don't know who Iskal 85 is, Iskal 85 is basically a Minecraft YouTuber who has been on Hermitcraft is what he's most known for. Um, he is one of the original playtesters for Minecraft he, and he has his own mod pack called Vault Hunters, but he's most well known for Hermitcraft. For those of you who don't know what Hermitcraft is, Hermitcraft is just a silly little SMP that has gone on for 10 years with zero controversy. But Iskal85, or Victor, his real name, has ruined that. 10 years. No controversy. No one man ruined it all. 10 years is still impressive, but come on, man. Um, but Hermitcraft is just for a bunch of Minecraft YouTubers are kind of silly and play Minecraft together. So, obviously with this being a more serious topic, there are going to be trigger warnings. So, trigger warnings for sexual stuff, grooming, sexting, and just abuse of power, all, all that lovely stuff. So basically, can all just be put into one category of grooming which is super fun, but yeah, those are the trigger warnings. If you're uncomfortable with them, don't feel bad clicking away from this video. You can support me in other ways. And if I talk about them in a way that is triggering, and, but you still want to hear about the situation, there are plenty of other videos that go a little bit less in detail, but you still get the information that you need. So don't feel bad if you need to click off this video. So. So basically, um, the, the sh very short version of the situation is, um, Iskal85 or Victor groomed multiple of his mods or viewers, um, through Skype and discord but we'll get to the main stuff which happened on skype later most of the information we have is from one of his moderators uh cass i have the document pulled up on my phone right here and um i'm gonna be reading off of it a lot because i do not want to get any information wrong so just just for those of you who don't know uh Cass did specify they were not pushed to make this document at, at all. But this is all of their their own choice, and um, there are other people that will be mentioned, but we're mainly going to go off of Cass's statement. So, three things I want to address really quickly is um, mumbo jumbo already specified that there were no minors involved in the situation, so that is the only good thing about this. Um, but no minors involved, so thank god. <laughs> uh, and Stress Monster was said to be leaving the Minecraft se or not Minecraft, Hermitcraft series at the same time that um, Iskal's removal was announced. And a lot of people have been speculating about that being connected, but um, Stress and False Symmetry have confirmed that it was not involved, so don't make any assumptions about Stress or her family. 
and um I just want to say that Iscal and his moderators talk in a very odd way so it's they call each other sir a lot and I know the word omega was thrown around there so I don't know they just talk very oddly it's like the Iscal moderator lingo um but those are the three things I want to address before starting this video so it is said that all of this really like the personal interactions between Cass and Iscal started on August 12th 2023 and it started with um Iscal trying to get in contact with a, another moderator called Gamer Salsa and Iscal messaged Cass saying that that they're that he's trying to make a group chat with them. Iscal sent a friend request I was trying to make a group chat with Sir Salsa because but can't then key e not key k e k w and i googled it basically it's just another way of saying lol and cast responds accepted sir and then iscal said just wanted to thank you and salsa specifically for all the help with streams in the community you guys are absolutely omega very good to me and i appreciate the hell out of both of you. Thank you for being there for me. And Cass says that was fairly innocent, but reading that message, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I have a friend um, who, when we would stream together, would always message me after, like before we got super close would always message me after being like oh my god thank you for streaming with me it was so fun i really enjoy streaming with you and like that was it and i get um this could just be him being super very much appreciative but to me it just rubbed me the wrong way um also one thing i forgot to mention is Iscal is one who doesn't respond to Discord often and rarely does not start his own conversations. So this was like the first time that he really started his own conversation with someone. So there's that. Cass says that for about a week, the messages that were in personal chat chats stay pretty innocent, but on August 13th, the day after, Iskal, Iskal says, Finger, you need food, K-E-K-W. Um, continue to be awesome, Cass. I've got no worries in my head. You're a good one. Now we play some Sky Vaults, I think. I don't know what Sky Vaults is. I'm guessing it's like a Minecraft server. I don't know. Um... And Cass responds, ooh. And Iscal responds, oh. Peeping at Iscal, Cass. Danger zone, Cass. Puts pants back on. Lol. One thing you'll realize Iscal does quite often is responds to private areas or genitalia as danger zones. Because he's like... He... We've already acknowledged he talks weirdly and this was just another part of that, but like... That's, that's one I have not heard before. <laughs> August 21st, 2023 is the first time Skype gets brought up. And Skype is where the big stuff happens. Um, we don't have a lot of the big stuff because Cass was not comfortable sharing that. And that is completely valid so don't be like this is all fake because cast won't share the big stuff the hermitcraft team and vault hunters team and everyone that needs that information in those screenshots has it and that is the most important part that those who need it have it us 
the public that have nothing to do with the situation other than seeing it go down, um, we don't need that information. So we don't have it. And that's completely understandable. But just know Skype is where all the big stuff with this situation happens. So, like I said, on August 21st, 2023, it's got messages, nice, set up Skype, cast response, yup, yup, downloading, OMG, how did I remember my old one, it's got response, lol, cast, I'm probably going to make a new one anyway, lol, but what the hell, I have a message from my brother from 2018, lol, Iskel said, I will add you, what is it, and then, Cass goes on to explain how as soon as Skype um, was set up and they were in a definitely more private messaging system, Skype, things got super, super sexual and um, started talking about danger zones quite often. So this is still August 21st, this message. Isco. Yee, now we can talk on here. The danger zone talk. Lol, no, but I can't keep track of Discord and I like you. Keep this very private though, only for family and very close friends. So, keep it, pri the, keep it private only for family and close friends. When we go to talk about the other people that have come out about the situation and they they said that this is a pattern he uses with all of them. We only have three cases that have been put into this document, but there are many more that I'm guessing. So, yeah. But just the keep it private only for family is something he uses for all of them every single one of his victims he's used this tactic and it's just like ugh, i hate that so much because it's such a common tactic too and the definition of grooming is abuse of power to get sexual or romantic um favors and obviously isco moderators like they're close but Iskal's higher so on August 25th cast messages um Iskal on discord something about Skype and Iskal does not respond he acts like Skype doesn't exist anytime Skype is mentioned he's just like hi and just doesn't respond but it's like Skype is just a word that he's like and turns into a statue. But then the next day, Cass messages a, messages him a bingo card, which was probably for a stream or a mod, I do not know. Then almost immediately Iskel responds, Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Like he didn't ignore Cass for an entire day because Skype was mentioned. And again, he does this a lot, or just randomly ghosts people for one to two weeks. But it's specifically when Skype is mentioned. Cass says that after um, Iskal and Cass had their messages on Skype, Discord was used for nothing but professional stuff. And that was just odd because they did have some personal chats on Discord, like the first Danger Zone talk, but you can see that he's trying to hide it, like what he's doing, because Skype is obviously a much more private form of communication. In Discord, it's still private, but it's not as private. Um, 
So, um, Cass just didn't get anything from Iska at all if it wasn't about moderation or streams or Vault Hunters. Just nothing it, on, dis on Discord except for she was about those three things. Cass says that on Skype, Iska would be extremely flirty and anytime Cass would feel like it would try and change the subject or deflect it because it crossed a boundary, um, Iskel would respond with changing the subject I see or encouraging Cass to open up. And if it doesn't work, he would just straight up ignore Cass for a couple days. And it's just like, no means no, not try more. Oh, person I like said no to me. I must be liked. You must like me back. That's not how that works. That is not how that works at all. But in Iskal's disgusting little mind, that's how it works. One thing that is even more odd to me is Cass sent Iskal either a picture or video of them bathing their pigeon, Wilbur. They address the unfortunate naming. But Cass's legs so happen to be in the photo. And Iskal was obsessed with their legs, just like, leg. And I don't know if they ever face revealed to each other. Well, people know Iskal's face, but I'm not sure if Cass ever showed their face to Iskal. I, I do not know that aspect of it. But he was just like, leg. Leg. I like your leg. Which, it's... It's just so, it's just so odd, dude. Like, it's a leg. This gal just took it so far, man. He was like, your leg. I'm gonna not shut up about anything but your leg. So Cass and Iskel had quite a few mutual friends and Cass so happened to just be talking to one of those friends and the friend was like yeah Iskel has a partner that lives with him and that just makes this situation a lot worse because not only was he grooming multiple people he was cheating on his live-in partner which I'm guessing means they were also long-term partners and Cass was debating for a bit on how to ask Iskel about this and these were the messages Cass so do you uh Iskel responds I don't get no cuddles lol then uh Cass says why not sir no partner for Iskel Iskel responds no partner for Iskel I guess which is obviously a lie um because he lives with his partner but, um, thankfully, Cass didn't believe it and was spiraling over it for so long, um, until they s talked to a friend and they call this friend A in the document, praise for A, we love A, and A helped them, um, get out of that spiral and help them with a lot of the situation so we love a Mwah. to a so later on um Cass's friend a um found another victim of Iskal's that is being called b for right now because they were they want to remain anonymous and we respect that and B had a very similar timeline or similar experience with Iskal, but this one lasted three years. 
it, but in the August to December period that Iskow was messing with um, Cass and another person, Methylet, who we will call Meth because they prefer not to be called Methylet anymore, uh, B got no res text messages from Iskow. And when he came back after December 16th, he was like, oh no, guys, I've been hacked. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, B. Man, I was hacked. I'm, I'm so sorry, my guy. Um, and just three years, man. That's insane. And don't think I'm calling any of the victims in this situation stupid because I'm not. I'm just like, I'm just baffled how someone can do this. Three years, man. At the least. B is the longest case we know of, so three years. So that means from 2020 to 2023 or very beginning of 2024. Three years, man, that's crazy. Iskow, man, you are so messed up, dude. Like, get out, please. But methylene or meth uh has a very similar timeline to Cass um and Cass says that they might make their own statement I haven't found it yet and I'm not sure if they have yet so please let me know if they made their own statement and I'll look into it I might not make a new video about it unless there are any major advances in the situation but I would like to do the research and see meth's response if there is one so basically uh meth had like the same time period same timeline as Cass, sometime in august and it ended with both of them on december 16th so that's all the major information i have on the situation and like after uh Cass b and meth um, found each other, they reached out to one of the hermits, I don't know which hermit it was, and it has not been confirmed, but they reached out to a hermit, and that's, um, how the situation has gone. Um, Cass words this very beautifully, so I am going to, um, just read what Cass has to say. Sorry if I said I, I can't read out loud, but... To anyone else who may be a victim, please feel free to reach out to Cass if you want to. You can reach out to Cass on Twitter. Please don't use my DMs to dig for info, but anyone affected is more than welcome to talk to me. I am more than willing to keep your name out of it, and if you want to say some words slash make a statement through me, I can do that. Or if you, or Cass can do that. If you don't want anyone to know any more, I will still listen. We suspect there are many more, and we are here for you. W worded beautifully. I couldn't have said it better than myself. Um, obviously, don't reach out to me. I don't have any connections, but um, you can find Cass on Twitter and reach out to them. Okay, so this is the spot where it's going to get a little more opinionated because I just want to bully the shit out of this gal. Because, like, how can you be so disgusting? to do this to multiple people and for three years at that for the longest period that is the longest period that we know of three fucking years that you were messing with these people's lives and even just the couple months that Cass and Meth had it done to them he's still messing with people's lives like it Cass said how the whole entire Laban partner thing sent them into a spiral and after like um no more messages from Iskow sent them into a spiral as well like you mess with these people's mental states so much just so you can have a little danger zone talk like oh my god how disgusting do you have to be like it's just oh my god you know, 
I was just starting to have some faith in humanity left. But no. I'm just reminded people like this exist. Like, how can people be so disgusting? It's just like, oh, dude, why? Why? And there's no excuse for it either. Like, he's Swedish, but even, even the Swedes know that this is not okay. Like, it's not a culture difference at all. I feel like grooming is just something that is universally not good. And it's... I'm just so disappointed. I'm... And, like, what he did was awful. And... It's... It's so bad. I don't know how to say it. I'm just so enraged because I I remember one of my favorite episodes of Hermitcraft was that time that Green, Iskal, and Mumbo just went and fucking played golf. And to know that that I enjoyed those episodes so much and now knowing what Iskal did it's I'm so I'm just glad I never really contributed, contrib contributed, contributed views to Iskal. I was always, I've always been more of a Green fan. Um, as I said at the beginning, Green, Mumbo, and Scar were my mains, and a little bit of Iskal. And like Green, Mumbo, and Scar, we still love them. They're amazing. But Iskal, fuck him, because Iskal is just scum. We fucking hate Iskal. And if there's any Iskal defenders, fuck you. You're fucking disgusting. And you're probably gonna end up just like him. Being someone who most people only know your name for being a fucking degenerate. Just ugh. How can people do this shit? And like, how can some people still support it? Ending this video on a happier note, I really just wanted to quickly praise the Hermits and the Hermitcraft team on how gracefully they handled the situation. They made just a post on Twitter of how information came out, and after that, um, Iskal chose to resign. I think that's bullshit. I think they genuinely kicked him out, but... They handled the situation with so much grace, and even the little statement that Mumbo made of how there were no minors involved, it, it just so much grace went into handling the situation, and I feel like that deserves a lot of praise. So here's the little praise. Everyone clap. Um, so that's the end of the video. It was a much more serious, so next time I post, um, I'll try and make it a more of a silly little goofy topic. Um, I'll talk about some dumb TikTok drama that has no meaning behind it. I'll just talk about something stupid so we can all have a good little laugh. But, again, sorry for this being a more serious video. And I am trying to post every other Sunday the commentary video, so there's that. Um, and I did get a microphone. I can't hook it up to my laptop. It's more for just comedic effect. But, you know, not the right video to do that. I'm, the only reason I'm talking about it now is because I'm trying to end on a happier note. And yes, I did get a haircut. We're working on it. It's, it's something. But, again... I hope you guys have a good day or night. If it's day, go eat, drink water. If it's night, go to bed. Nighty night. Sleep. But that's all from me. Bye guys. Don't don't come after me, guys. <laughs>